how to install MATLAB. Good day folks, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install MATLAB, which is a MathWorks product. So the first thing you want to do is jump into MathWorks.com forward slash products forward slash MATLAB and you will see if you Google MATLAB, this is the first result that you will see so once you are in here we're going to go through creating an account i'm also going to show you how to install the actual desktop app and uh, we can jump straight in so the first thing you want to do from this page on the right hand side you will see a get matlab button and we want to tap on that now if you already have an account you can skip this whole process and you can jump forward but if you do not have an account you're going to go in here and you're going to tap on create account the first thing you want to do is put in an email address so we're going to go ahead and type in our email address right over here and you're going to tap on next now it's very important that your password has 8 to 50 characters it also has at least one uppercase letter one lowercase letter and then at least one number so you want to enter that in and when you're done you want to confirm that and tap on next your next step is to verify your email. So now you will have a code that is sent to the email address that you entered, and we're going to enter that code in over here. So we've opened up our Gmail account, and as you can see, there is a code here. We can just highlight that by clicking down and dragging across the number, right click, and you can say copy, or you can hold in control and tap on the letter C. It will copy the text that is highlighted. And we're going to go in over here, and you can now either right click and tap on paste, or you can hold in control and tap on the letter V, which is the shortcut to paste. And then you have to accept the online service agreement. If you want to actually read that service agreement, it is highlighted. You can click on that. And you can go ahead and read it. I suggest you do. We're going to now tap on next. Right over here, we're going to enter our first name as well as our last name. And then we're going to enter a location over here. So once you open this up, you can start typing the first letter of your country. And then it'll shortcut you to the section of that letter and you can go ahead select your location and then it says which best describes you you can open up the window over here and if you're a student a teacher or researcher in academia a hobbyist an engineer in scientist in government or an engineer in scientist in industry you can then select the appropriate option then the department over here they want to know what department you are in so as i've selected a student i want to go ahead and i want to select the department that i'm a student in i'm going to select mathematics over here and then the next thing it says here is what describes your role so we're going to go ahead and if you have a postdoctoral or if you're a student at a graduate level a student as an undergraduate or a student with a K-12 or a pre-college, you can now go ahead and select whichever option best describes your role. Then you'll have to declare that you are older than 13 years old. If you are, click on yes. If you're not, you're going to have to select no. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And then I'm going to tap on next. Right over here, they want to know the location of the school, so I'm going to keep the country the same. And then they want to know what the school or the university's name is over here. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to enter the school or the university's name, and then you're going to tap on Next. So this is now their homepage or your dashboard. You have successfully created a MATLAB account. So the next thing you want to do now is either one of these three options at the top over here. So the first thing is link a license. So if you have purchased a pricing plan, you can now link that license right over here. All you need to do is tap on link and you can then enter the license number or the activation key over here and then you're going to tap on link license and then you will have your account the next option over here is to use MATLAB online and you have a cap of 20 hours per month. Now, this may not seem a lot, but 20 hours a month as a student, it may be useful, especially if it is for free. So you can go ahead and you can tap on use now. And you can see over here, this is their basic interface with all your options and your toolbars up at the top. 
and your main workspace in the center over here. From here, you're going to go back into the matlab.mathworks.com, as you can see over here. And then on the right hand side, you are going to see the upgrade your experience button. Right over here, you can now get a 30 day free trial with MATLAB and it gives you unlimited use on your desktop as well as the online feature. So we're going to tap on that and right over here you will see that you will enter your email address as well as your city, your zip code. You will also check either yes or no to this being a request on behalf of a faculty member or research advisor and then your year of graduation and how you will actually use your trial. So you will have to now select exactly what it is that you will be using your trial for. Right over here, we're just going to go ahead and say MATLAB Essentials. And then we're going to go ahead and tap on Submit. You can now see that this page says Welcome to your free trial. And it says Open MATLAB Online or install the MATLAB on your desktop to get started. So on the right over here, you can see that there is an Install MATLAB button. We're going to tap on that. And over here, you can see now it gives you some details and there is a blue button that says download for Windows. It's now already recognized my device. If you use the drop down arrow, you can see that it also is offered for Mac OS, the Apple Silicon, and then also the Mac OS Intel processor. And then you can also download it for Linux. We're going to leave that for Windows and we're going to tap on download. The next step may involve a bit of a different route. However, locate wherever you can see your downloads on your browser. In my case, it's up at the top right hand side. You can now see that there is a MATLAB and we can click on that. You can see now that it is unzipping the folder. And now the MathWorks product installer has opened. Right here, you want to enter the email address that you originally signed up with because it'll be linked to this account and you're going to tap on next and right over here you want to enter in your password here you can see that there are the terms of the license agreement you will have to now also tap on yes that you agree to these terms and tap on next you can see again now that it gives you a license number it also gives you a label as well as a license use and option over here and this is under the licensing tab. We're going to go ahead and tap on next. Again, you will see that they are confirming the user, such as the name, email address, and then the Windows username. We're going to tap on next. Here you can change where you actually have this file saved to. You can just tap on browse and you can choose the destination folder. When you're done, you can tap on next. You now have a few products that you can choose from. It does say select products and it also states that the recommended products are pre-selected and MATLAB is the product that we came for. There are some additional toolboxes, some additional options here. You can select whichever ones you'd like and you can tap on next. The next option is to add a shortcut to your desktop and you can either select that on or off and you can go ahead and you can tap on next. You can see here now that you have all of the selections that you've made, such as the licensing, the usernames, the destination, and then also the product. It does say that it is 4 gig that is required on your desktop or your laptop to have this product installed. You're going to go ahead now and you're going to tap on begin install. And there you go, folks. Within a few minutes, you will actually have MATLAB installed on your desktop and you can use it and it'll look much the same as the online interface. It will just not be through your browser. It'll just be the individual app. There we go, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and we'll see you in another exciting video next time. Bye bye, folks.